What's up guys, my name is Preston Palmer, a student engineering, and my goal is to help other engineering students like me better understand engineering. So in this video, what I'm going over is support reactions, and if you find it helpful, please subscribe. So, a support reaction is a reaction force where the support is exerting a force on the object to keep it in equilibrium. So as an example of that, I have here my water bottle, and if I hold it out, gravity is, keep, is trying to keep the water bottle moving downward, and my hand is pushing upward on it. Well, my hand is the support, and it is exerting a force on the water bottle going up to keep it in equilibrium, or to keep it still. And so there is a reaction force going in the opposite direction of gravity on the water bottle. Another reaction um, force is if I'm pushing this way on this rod, well my hands gotta keep it, gotta exert a force going the other way to keep this rod not moving. And for a reaction moment, if my finger is causing rotation by pushing on this beam, my hand has gotta cause an opposite moment to keep this broad and not moving, or in other words, to keep it in equilibrium. So while my finger causes a moment by pushing down this way, my hand is going to rotate it this way to keep it from moving. And so that's what a support reaction does. It exerts a force or a moment on the object to keep it in equilibrium. And the reason why we need to know this is because often in free body diagrams we need to replace supports with reaction forces so that we can better understand what's going on with the object. And there's four different kind of forces that I want to talk about in this video. And they're basically all the reactions that you'll need to know. So the first one is a fixed reaction or a fixed support. The second is a pin support. The third is a roller support. And the fourth is a free support. So, a fixed support is, say we have a beam coming out of a wall, something like this. Well, we for a fixed support, we notate that, that it was a fixed support by these diagonal lines, indicating that it was fixed. And what it means to be fixed is that it prevents motion in any direction and it prevents rotation. So this beam can't move anywhere and it can't rotate. So if we we're gonna replace that support or that fixed reaction with support reactions or support forces, then we write, well, if we had my y and x axes right here, we call this reaction force in the x direction and my reaction force in the y direction. And then you'd have a reaction moment keeping it from moving. So we'll call that moment reaction. And so that's what the reaction forces or moment would look like in a fixed support. So for a pin support, we have something like this where the, we had the beam and right here it was pin. And what that might look like in 3D is if you have two plates and in the middle of those two plates is the beam and going through the plates and the beam is a pin and that lets the beam rotate but it doesn't allow it to move in any direction. So a pin support allows rotation, it doesn't resist rotation but it resists and prevents translational movement in any direction. And so if you're going to replace that support, you would write that it has reaction forces in both directions. If we were using coordinate system in the x and y directions. And so that's a pin support and it resists translational movement. So a roller support is very similar in that it allows the beam to move in the direction parallel to the surface on which it's rolling. So it doesn't prevent movement going this way, but it does prevent movement from going this way. 
And so these might be some rollers on the bottom that allow it to move in that direction without resisting that movement. And from what I've seen, roller supports are almost always pinned as well, so they don't resist rotation. So if you were to replace a roller support with a reaction force, the reaction force could only be in the direction that is perpendicular to the surface on which that roller is rolling. So in this case, it would have been something like this. So a force in the y direction. So a free support really isn't a support because it's not being supported by anything. Or in other words, there's no, not going to be any resistance to movement or rotation. So there would be no reaction forces from a free support. And that might be like a cantilever beam. And so there's different variations of all of these. But basically their reaction forces are all going to be the same. And with roller supports especially, there's lots of different kinds. And so you might see what we had before, where you have something with rollers on the bottom. You might see something that could like rock like this along a surface that would allow it to move back and forth with a little bit of movement. You might see just one wheel that allowed it to roll. So you could also have an object just sitting on a flat surface that was frictionless and that would allow just a sliding movement, which is basically the same thing. And so oftentimes the friction will be negligible and that's why you can say it's a frictionless surface. And that would, be, that would also be a roller support because it doesn't allow movement in the direction perpendicular to the surface. And once you get into 3D space with all of these, you're going to see them change a little bit, but the concepts are going to stay the same. With a fixed reaction, it's not going to allow any mo movement and any rotation. With a pin support, it's going to allow all rotation, but no movement. With a roller support, you can have movement and rotation in any direction, except for the direction that is perpendicular to the surface and a free support doesn't have any support reactions. Okay, so knowing what kind of support that we're dealing with will help us to replace that support with the proper support reactions when you're drawing a free body diagram. And so you might be wondering what these look like in real life. Well, I have here a few pictures that can show us some real life examples of first a fixed support, which can be like something, a beam, bolted to a wall or maybe cemented into a wall or you could have a welded joint. Those would all be fixed support reactions because they don't allow movement or rotation. You could also have a pin support which is very common in like machinery, say like on the arm of a backhoe that allows it to rotate. Um, you could have those kind of supports on buildings um, with roller supports, you'll most often see them in like bridges and that will allow the bridge to move just a little bit due to expansion and contraction due to temperature change. And so you might see something like our first one with the little wheels on the bottom that will allow it to roll. You might see it with the rocker like this. You might see it with just the roller, something like this. And then with a free support, that'll be like a cantilever beam, like maybe an awning sticking out there, and it doesn't have any support. It's just being supported by the beam itself, and that might be something like this. So let's say you're given an example problem of this, and you need to draw a free body diagram for this beam. So first what we need to do is we need to replace these supports with support reaction or reaction forces. And so, if we're going to draw the free body diagram, we first start out with our x and y axes and then we draw the beam and we would replace the pin support here with two reaction forces, one going in the x direction and one going in the y direction because that's where it can prevent movement. So we'll call it the reaction force in the x direction and this the reaction force in the y direction. Well, with a rocker support, 
that would resist movement in the direction that is perpendicular to the surface, which in this case, we have drawn it parallel to our x-axis, so the force, the reaction force, is going to be perpendicular to it. And so we'll call that F sub B sub Y, because it's going the Y direction. And we'll add this, that these were from our point A. And then we draw our other forces. We have the 500 newtons, which is perpendicular to the surface of the beam. And then we have a point moment right here at 800 newton meters. And so you might be wondering what that looks like in real life. And this doesn't really have to do what we're talking about with support reactions. But say my hand or my arm is a beam and we have our point moment right here. And let's say we have a rod coming out of it with something trying to rotate it. Be that maybe a plate with a load on it that's trying to rotate it or maybe there's a motor or something. For whatever reason, it's trying to rotate it. Well, that would cause a point moment right there. So that's what this point moment could be there. And so that's a quick example how you replace the supports with reaction forces. And these are just variables at the moment you could solve for that. And I'm gonna link at the end of this video another one of my videos that goes over solving for those the values of those reaction forces. If you like this video, hit that like button, share it with your classmates. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave them down in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe.